it's Neo Gags, and today I want to teach you guys about the, uh, the Battle of Burnside Bridge. The Battle of Burnside Bridge was a smaller battle that happened in the Battle of Antietam that caused, that had major significance to the end point of the Battle of Antietam. See, because of this battle, if the uh, Confederates won it, it would have been the end of the Union, but if the Union won, it would be the end of the Confederates which we all know how the Battle of Antietam ends. So, with that, let's get into it. So, let's show you what I built first. This is Antietam Creek. This is in Maryland today. I made a fraction of it. And this is the actual bridge. And this is the end of the creek. Okay, so, what is Burnside Bridge. As I said before, it is a it is a smaller battle that happened inside of the Battle of Antietam that happened in Maryland. Okay. So, uh, some background of, around this battle. So, Burnside's Eighth Corps, which is a bit south of the Brooks Invasion, which happened a lot more north around Sharpsburg. So, right over here, this is the Burnside 8th Corps, which is the Union, which made up of Nagy's Corps, Crook's Corps, and Ferrero's Corps. Overall, this uh, they had about um, 3,000 men, and on the other side, they had Tom's, which was Lee's left flank, which gave him... Um, which was major important because this was the only safe way to escape. And this side, they only had 400 Georgians. Um, realistically, in the battle, this uh, bridge is only 12 feet wide, which gives barely any room for people to pass over and easily gun down. So, before the battle started, um, Burnside, uh, Burnside's corpse was heavily... Um, told not to attack until given further inf uh, information on when and how to, and because of this, this gave Lee two hours of moving crucial artillery from here all the way up to Brooks Invasion, and this whole battle was to take, um, was to distract the Unionists from Brookside to down to here to stop his left flank. So, let's get into what happened in the battle. Okay. So, Crook, Crook, which was the smallest brigade out of all of them, first attacks. And they only make it to 350 yards, which is around here, before they get gunned down by all the Georgians. And that, that was the end of the Crook, until they moved back, and they lost about 20 men. Then it was Nagel's turn. This happened about an hour later, and they advanced. They didn't even make it onto the bridge before they were all already turned down, and they had to walk away. This was the largest brigade out of all of them, so to see that they were um, turned down before even making it on the bridge was a bit scary for the Unionists. Then finally, after f four hours of trying to get on the bridge, Ferrero attacked, and the small brigade, the 51st port of the brigade led an attack and broke through. This was a turning point in the battle because the, it, the uh, Confederates could not uh, stand because after that, Crook and Nagel joined them and attacked. And because of this, the Unionists, I mean the Confederates, had to uh, retreat. And this was crucial because this was Lee's main escape way. And if Lee did not have a main escape way, this would be horrible for the rest of his battle. Which leaves him, uh, which major, which would leave a major loss. And by the end of the battle, the Unionists end up pulling through and winning the fight. But, this is horrible news for the Lee, because this is the third time that Lee's army is on the verge of defeat. And as we all know, that Lee ends up losing the Battle of Antietam, and it gives un the Unions a major boost in morality because they've lost almost every battle until Battle of Antietam, 
And yeah, let's give a, uh, another look around the entire map again. And also, by the way, both sides had artillery. Though the Union was short on artillery, did not mean they did not have enough. The Toms did have a little more artillery because Lee did leave them some because they knew this is a very important flank of Lee's. But they ended up having about 12 artillery cannons. And the Unionists had about around 5 to 6 cannons. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed my history project.